On March 15, 1982, actress Teresa Saldana was viciously attacked and repeatedly stabbed. She barely survived. This is her story. Good. I need the car. Got to get to the counseling center, okay? Leftovers. Couldn't you wait? I have an early class. God, I'm sorry. You want me to make you something? I'll get it. Hello? Hello. Oh, hi, Mom. How you doing? I'm fine. And your father, he's fine. Listen, I've been trying to get you all day. Oh, I just walked in the door. Well, where you been? Oh, shopping. I had another audition. A movie? No, TV. A good part? Okay. Listen. Mr. Uh, Scorsese, what is his name? I, I think he's got something good for you. Scorsese, mommy, with a C. How do you know? His assistant. He's been trying to get in touch with you. He said that Mr. Scorsese's got a part for you in his new picture. He wanted your phone number and your address so he could talk to you about it. Did he call Selma? I don't know. Well, I tried. He said something about the phones being down. I don't know. I couldn't understand it. I think he tried to reach her. Anyway, I know you've given Mr. Scorsese your number before, so I thought it'd be all right to tell him. Listen. Teresa, I, I... I think I gave him your old phone number. I can't remember. But I gave him your right address. Oh, uh, that's okay, Ma. Look, he can always write me or call Selma. Listen, I mean, I'll die if I didn't give him the right number and you lose a job. Mom, you don't worry about it. Oh, I'm so upset. Look, I'll tell Selma that if she can handle it. That's what a manager's for. Okay. I'll call her first thing in the morning. All right. Look. Don't be upset, Mommy. Anybody can make a mistake. All right. Okay. Look, say hi to Daddy and Maria. Okay. I love you. Okay, bye. Okay, give. It looks like Scorsese has another part for me. Ah, that's great. What's the matter? You worried? Will success spoil Teresa Saldana? <sighs> yeah, so what does this mean? You're gonna go on location or what? I don't know. You know, you've been away from here a lot lately. <gasps> what do you want me to do, Fred? Tell them I'll only work in L.A. Every time I get a job, we have the same problem. Let's just forget about it, okay? I don't like being left alone. Nothing's set yet. Let's forget it. Freddy. What time are you coming home? Late. Great.
Me kiss. Gab all night. Teresa, Selma, I've been trying to reach you all night. Is Fred there? When's he gonna be home? Around midnight, why? I'm a crazy guy. What'd he say? Well, the first time he phoned, he said his name was Jackson. Arthur Jackson. Uh, he said he was from the William Morris agency, but he sounded really weird and check with the agency? As soon as they hung up, they said they never heard of him. Then he called again a few minutes later. I recognized his voice. He's got this Scottish accent. This time he said he was Scorsese's assistant. He needed your address because Scorsese had a part for you. I told him I couldn't get it to him. God, he called my mother too. She gave him my address. Is there a neighbor that you can stay with until Fred comes home? Yeah, I, I could stay with Mrs. Hahn. For the next few days, Make sure you're not alone. Now, never. You take care of yourself. I want you to call me first thing in the morning and tell me you're all right. OK. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bill. Mrs. Hahn, could I stay with you till my husband gets back? Please, I'm scared. Sure, honey, come in. is why did he fix on you? I don't know. Maybe I met him somewhere. Maybe he saw one of the movies. Movies? You had to be an actress. It's not because I'm an actress, Fred. There are thousands of actresses. This guy has to be crazy. Just so scary. Look. If he knows where you live, then we have to get out. Stay with Joe and Hillary until we can find another place. I don't want to leave. I love it here. I want some nut pushing me around. Yeah, I like it here, too. All right, we'll stay. But you don't go anywhere alone. When you go for school, I walk you to the car in the morning. If I'm not here, when you get back and then you call Mrs. Han, you stay with her. When you're driving, you look around, you see if anybody's following you. And you make sure you don't go anywhere alone. Okay? Let's go to sleep. Fred. I'm scared. Hi.
You be careful. something. I think somebody's after me. I'm not paranoid or anything like that. My manager called and warned me. He's probably just a nut. I'm probably nuts for even worrying about it. But if you see me running down the hall or trying to get away from someone, if you could just help me or call the police. I guess that's all. Thanks. Are you kidding? I wish I was. Thanks for the script. I'll tell Selma. Break a leg. That audition went really well. The producer gave me a script and he said he'd call Selma. I know I'm going to get that job. That's great. And this is the one where you don't go on location, right? No, it's eight weeks in L.A. Great. I hope you get it. I feel so dumb for being scared. I mean, nothing's happened. Nobody's called us. Mrs. Hahn hasn't seen anybody. I'm not giving it another thought. Yeah, well, I still want you to be careful, okay? I feel really good. You do feel good. <laughs> Freddie? Yeah? Freddie, your lunch is on the table. I have to run. Well, I won't be a minute. Mm. I'm late, baby. Mm. Please wait. No, everything's fine. See you later. <laughs> You, Teresa Saldana. Drop the knife. 
Drop the knife or I'll break oh, your neck. Drop, oh, drop the knife. Lady, move it oh, quick. Get them out of here. North Hayworth, Hollywood, please hurry! Approximately 25 years of age. It's weight be all right. 105 pounds with more. Eric, she's got hit a couple times. Come on, Jesus. Give me a blood pressure. Okay, hold on. Okay. okay. It's good. Deep in the water. <laughs> we have no idea how long that knife was. <laughs> she's got one, two, three in the chest. There looks like one right over the right side. Three in the looks chest. Looks like it might have got a lung. She's got one in the leg. Might have got a lung on the right side. One Look in the leg. 12 liters. This makes her. Looks like she's having a little trouble breathing with that. Yeah, no, but that's when I screamed for him because because uh, my truck started to roll. You didn't get to before I wanted to know if he killed her. I told him no, and he was real upset that he didn't. Watch your head. Okay. Okay, here's the O2. I want to go with her. Okay, we need the space. Look, why don't you just go around front and sit up there, okay? What you got here? We got a BP of 50, pulse 120, respiration labored, and a lot of staff on this. Okay, I need the trauma team right away. Take those to the blood bank. Two units of O-neg, stat. Shall we get respiratory? Respiratory, too. Careful, careful. All right. That side. We'll shoot her over. Let's get some hands on here. We need another hand. We need another hand on the back. Okay, are we ready? She ready? One, two, three. Okay. Okay. I need another IV on this arm right away. Uh, Trust some more blood for an H and H as well. I'm gonna open your bra here for a second. No, leave the trousers inflated. 
Okay, you got multiple stab wounds. Teresa, you're being taken care of. Yeah, no breath sounds fine. Let's go ahead and set up her chest just right away. Let's have number 362, the chest transduction. It's going to hurt, but it's going to help you breathe. Anterior axillary line? Anterior axillary line. Good. You almost ready for me? Okay. Okay. Give me two seconds here. Okay. We got that tube. That's the spot. Right okay. I'm there. getting wide open. Right. Open it up. Good. That looks good. All right. Uh, open that up there. Okay. okay. I'm going to put the tube right in. Okay. You're going to feel some pressure now right on that. Okay. And you're... Okay, who we got? Oh, doctor, pressure's 40 over zero. Okay, we're, we're losing her. Time. We're losing her. Get up, get up. Come on, up here. I lock the table. Let's go. Let's go. That's ready. Careful through that door. Right to the OR. They're ready for her up there. Let's move. Take her upstairs. Dr. Allen, to the operating room. Dr. Allen, to the operating room. Dr. Stein, just finish it. Dr. Allen. But we can't find him. But you can't. You find him. We have been doing our best, doctor. We're going to lose her. Uh, why did we stop? We can't locate the surgeon on call. Yeah, the Isn't there anybody else? We are trying, oh. mister. Trying? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. yeah. uh, I'll call her. I'll, I'll call her. <laughs> Get somebody to take care of her now! Why are you waiting? We can't locate Dr. Allen. We've got multiple stab wounds, Doctor. We've given her four units of blood. What's your pressure? Please. You are in, I'll do it. You scrub. They're in the operating room right now. They're trying to save her. All right. She asked for your mother and father. Tell them we get on the next plane out here, okay? Somebody will be there to pick them up. Bye. Oh, oh, my God. It happened 15 minutes ago. All right, uh, trauma three. I'll get Dr. Sam. Respiratory therapy. Excuse me. It's going to take a long time. Why don't you go home and get changed? Well, you don't want her to see you looking like that. We'll call you as soon as she gets out, I promise. of the hospital. I wrote it down. Whoever's going to pick us up is going to take us right there. No, but I need to know it anyway. Just it makes me feel closer to it. So where is this guy? Where's, where's the guy who's... If he doesn't come, we'll take a taxi. Where? Where? 
Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Miss, miss, you were paging us with a Saldana. Uh, Mr. Saldana, I'm David Johns. Is it about today? She got God. Oh, I'm sorry. I had you page because I was afraid I wouldn't recognize you. Is she gone? No. She's out of surgery. That's all I know. I'm just a neighbor. My car's outside, and I'll get your bags, okay? Final 40. Come on. Saved her. Oh, oh, thank God. She was sleeping a minute ago. Uh, is it all right to go into? Yeah, go on. I'll, I'll wait out here. What did he do to you? Cry, Mom. Please don't cry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's <laughs> your fault. Oh, my Teresa. My pretty Teresa. All right, all right. Cry, her. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listening on the phone downstairs when Fred called his sister. She came downstairs. He was crying and saying, My daughter's dead. She said, Yeah. said the angels told him to kill her. Came all the way from Scotland, hunted for her until he found her. They found his diary on him, and that's how they got all this. Every day I'd walk her to her car. Make sure she was okay, and make sure that nobody was around. And this one time, I didn't. One time I didn't. Now you listen to me. You are not guilty. Hmm? Just like the Vina. Uh, if I hadn't given him her address, or, he would have found it another way. I want 
I'll see you again. People tend, for a time, to relive traumas that they experience. I just want to know what to expect. So I can handle it. How long is the pain going to stay like this? I feel like it's going to drive me crazy. What about, what about all the scars? Dr. Stein can answer the physical questions. You think I'll be able to act again? I'm sure you will be. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> I never talked to a shrink before. <laughs> whatever you want to say. Tell me whatever's going through your mind. You know, you've come a long way already. You fought back. You're here. And it's perfectly normal for you to feel frightened and helpless. Fred. I told him to go back to work. He's a counselor for alcoholics. He seems so confused. Mainly I need my mother. I feel like a little girl again. So, how do you feel? The paper said you were expecting something and you'd walk into the car every day. Why did you stop? I, I don't know. Um, we, we're here to talk about your problem, not mine. How was your week? You must feel awful. I do. I do, and I don't need to be reminded of it, so please, let's get it. Tell me about you. I was just asking. I, I know, I'm sorry. Were the kids here on Sunday? Yes, they were. Friday, one was a triple bypass. You know, you're very interested to look at. So call my secretary to make it a moment, okay? Oh, good morning, Mr. Silvana. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Silvana. Oh, you're looking very pretty this morning. It's just makeup. <laughs> I've got some good news for you. You'll be moving to your own room soon. Mm. With visiting privileges. I hope it's a prettier room than this one. Of course. Could you, uh, could you folks give us a moment? Mm. 
brought you a gadget. It's cute. What does it do? You put this part in your mouth, and your mother will hold it out straight like this. And you breathe out, and you breathe in deeply. You try to get this little ball to move. This is adjustable, and we'll uh, start you right about there. What's the catch? No catch. It's a breathing exercise to help you strengthen your lungs. We don't want you to get pneumonia. How could I get pneumonia with all this junk all over me? It happens. Now, let's see you move the ball. Put this in your mouth. Now breathe out. Now breathe in deeply. Oh, come on, Teresa. You can do better than that. It hurts. I know it does. But you're a toughie. You can take it. Now, give it everything you got. Breathe out. Breathe in deeply. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in deeply. Come on. Great. Come on. Come on. Breathe in. That's right. One more time. Can't. I'm sorry, Teresa. You have to. Four times an hour until I order it stopped. Teresa, this is important. Nursing supervisor called to Nord. Nursing supervisor called to Nord. Well, that must have seemed like I was killing her, right? What were you doing to her? She has to exercise her lungs to prevent infection. It's painful, but it's useful in healing her. I'm going to need your help. Can't you give her something to ease the pain? No. That would defeat our purpose. Your daughter's a very strong girl. But she's going to have to go through a lot. For how long? I don't know how much more she can take. It's not just the pain. It's what it's doing to her inside. Vina. I'm sorry. It's okay. Now let me show you how this works. You're gonna feel ever so much better when you're in your own room. It's really bright and cheery. Wait till you see all the flowers you've been getting. Take it easy. Okay. Yeah. There. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. Keep it under 55? <laughs> gotcha. Security, please call extension 5555. Teresa, what's the matter? Who's there? The hospital people. Mom is here. Nothing's going to happen to you. Look, we're going to go to the new room. It's very pretty. There's, it's full of flowers. I fixed it up so nice. And, Teresa, if you don't like it, I'll fix it any way you want. Morning, doctor. Oh, Teresa, he's just one of our doctors. We're not going to let every new face scare us, are we? There, what'd I tell you? You got flowers and gifts from famous movie stars and directors from all over the world. So many friends, Teresa. And they're all praying for you. Tell them I said thank you. Ma? Ma? I was in the bathroom. Honey. What? Sorry. Well, what? Oh, I hate being so scared. Oh. So helpless. Oh, it's all right. I love you. I'm here. Now go to sleep, huh? Hmm? Hmm. My baby? Who are they? I don't know. The patients? Visitors? He's in jail, Teresa. I know. I'm still scared. I can't help it. I know. I can't stop thinking about it myself, so I keep busy. Thank God you have your job. Yeah. Fred. Yeah. Are you having trouble at work? I don't want to talk about it. it. Helps to talk. 
Dr. Joseph thinks we need to talk about it. Fine, but I don't like telling him my problems. Why don't you tell me? What can you do about them? Besides, you're always with your family. They're not here now. I feel like you're becoming a stranger. I can't relate to you, Fred. If you don't talk to me. What's the point? There's nothing either of us can do about it. You're here, I'm out there, and things keep happening, and we can't stop them. It's just getting me down. So I go a week. You know, maybe even two. And, uh... I don't touch this stuff. I mean, I don't even want it. <laughs> then, for no reason at all, I, 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 I say to myself, okay, tonight, tonight you can have a glass of wine, you know, with, with dinner. And, and I'll suggest it to my wife so that she won't think that, you know, I'm, I'm doing it behind her back or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I have the drink, just one. And then after dinner, I think, uh, well, why not another? I mean, I'm in the kitchen, I'm doing the dishes, my wife, she's in the next room, and the bottle's right there. Only instead of wine, I take vodka. Are you listening to me? Of course I am. Oh, okay, okay, so what did I just say? What, what did I just say? You said you were still drinking. Yeah, but how did I say that? What difference does it make? You told me you were still drinking. Behind my wife's back. I, I'm cheating on her. So, see, I promised her that I would never touch it unless I told her first so that she wouldn't have to worry about it, and I'm cheating. I, I mean, didn't you get that in your notes? Wait a minute. What kind of notes are those? I, I don't need notes. I know what you told me. You're like, hell you do. I, I'm sitting up here talking about how, how my, my marriage is busting up and how I'm messing up my job, how, how I'm messing up my life because I can't leave the booze alone and you're not even listening to me. You know what? You're off on cloud nine somewhere. I'm sorry. I was thinking about my own problems. Look, why don't we start all over, okay? Uh... Tell me, sit down. No. No, I think I just better tell your boss. It's okay. It's all over now, Teresa. Advantages are off. We're not gonna hurt you anymore. I'm gonna leave the scars uncovered. They need to breathe. I wanna see what I look like. Why don't you wait till later? Till you feel better. I wanna see them now. Give me a mirror, please. God. I wish I could get my hands on him. Is that all you can say? Oh, no. I'm sorry, baby. I, I wasn't thinking about how you'd feel. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What's all this gonna do to us, Fred?
Attention all respiratory therapy students. Post-conference will be held in the conference room on the second floor at 2 p.m. Do you like the color? <laughs> but you, you're all over the news, you and Jeff Van. What a press agent you must have. Yeah, I'm a celebrity. In a very bizarre way. Hey, Dolly. How you doing? Fine, and you? We were just talking about Teresa's press. I've never seen so many stories. Mm. But I'm not staying. I, I just wanted to stop in and say hello. You don't have to go. Fred's used to my friends. Right, Fred? Sure. No, I... I gotta run. I'll come back later. Looks like a road map, doesn't it? This one's the San Diego freeway. I had to psych myself up to come here. I didn't know what to say or how to act. I, I kept trying to think of something funny to tell you. I didn't expect this. I, I don't know how to act. Nobody knows how to act. Not even me. So I just make jokes about it. it. Seems like I'm the most famous victim in the whole world. I just didn't expect it to be so... so... ugly. Now, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I'm gonna start really bored if I don't go out. I, I'll come back later. I'll see you later. I can joke about it. But who are you fooling? Where's your parents? They went to the cafeteria while Dolly was here. What's the matter? Um. I just got the bills. It's nice, huh? My SAG insurance should cover it. No, not everything. I checked. This is just the beginning. I, does Stein say how long you're going to be here? Oh, what happens afterwards? You, you're going to need a place to recuperate. Insurance does not cover that. Oh, this is going to wipe us out. I don't think it's going to wipe us out. Dr. Joseph told me about a program through the DA's office. It's supposed to help victims of crime. This is all we needed on top of everything else. Go broke! I can't believe you're blaming me, Fred. I'm not blaming you. I'm not. Teresa. I'm sorry. Radiology okay. These are the application forms for violent crime reimbursement as provided by the program. If you require help in filling them out, we provide that also. Most important thing is money. I keep getting these bills. There's a limit to what insurance covers. I hate asking for money. Fred and I can't afford this kind of expense. My family can't afford it. I don't know too many people who could. Do you have any idea how soon it'll be before I can collect? Well, unfortunately, there are delays. It might be a year. A year. And the limit is $10,000 for medical expenses. What kind of assistance program is that? That won't even make a dent in these bills. My expenses are already over $10,000.
I'm sorry, Teresa. That's all the law provides. The man who tried to kill me is taken care of. He gets free room and board, free medical care. All his expenses are taken care of. Everybody makes sure he's protected and nothing happens to him. But I'm, suppo I'm supposed to pay. I'm supposed to pay because I got stabbed. That doesn't make any sense. Does that make sense to you? I am sorry, Teresa. Attention all nurses. Registration. I don't mean to yell at you. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Hi. How are we doing today? Fine. I'm Dr. Stein, Teresa's doctor. Hi. This is my sister Maria. Oh. She just came in from New York to cheer me up. How are you? How's the arm coming along? Oh. Let me see you move those fingers. Uh-huh. We'll have to work on that. I talked to a couple of doctors about microsurgery for you sometime next week. I'll let you know, okay? Great. How's the rest of you feel? Okay. I think I'm getting a little cold. Okay. We'll watch that. Other than that, I feel really great. I love being here. I like everything that's happening to me. I love these disgusting scars. Teresa, you'll be amazed at what plastic surgery can do these days. Pharmacy technician report to stat. I've already talked to a lot of plastic surgeons. They all say the same thing. I have to wait nine months. In the meanwhile, I have to stay like this. At least it won't be forever. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Boy, we sure are in a good mood these days. It might interest you to know that I took a poll of the residents, and we all agree that scars are sexy. She's doing just fine. Don't listen to what she tells you. She doesn't have to tell me anything. I can see. She's depressed. Now, what are we going to do about that? We're working on it. Well, by the way, I've... Uh, I've got a favor to ask you. I've got another patient who wants to meet you. Let me finish. She was shot in the neck. I told her how well you were doing to make her feel better. Volunteer, please report to maternity. She want to meet me. <clears throat> she, she admires you. She thinks you're a very brave person. She wants to know how you managed. Social service, please report to ICU. Are you kidding? No. Her name is Cheryl Fields. And you can reach her at this extension. And, uh, and visiting is permitted. Nice to meet you. Talk. Are you going to call her? Will you dial her for me? Hello? No, this is her mother. Who is this? Oh, just a minute, please. It's Teresa Saldana. Teresa. Hello, Cheryl. I, I just called to find out how you're feeling. Not much. From the neck down. But I'm hoping. How are you? I'm fine. When did you get here? About two weeks ago. Dr. Stein told me you were shot. Yeah. Shooting, stabbing, what's the difference? They're all disgusting. Right. I'm bored being scared to death. You too? <sighs> Same with me. Can you come over? How about tomorrow? I'll be here. Okay. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Well, 
What's she like? Someone I can talk to. Ambulance driver, please call the operator. Ambulance driver, please call the operator. Sergeant Bradfield, return to the emergency room. Sergeant Bradfield, return to the emergency room. So glad you could come. Sure. Just say hello to her. She's taking a bad turn. Pneumonia. I'm Suspilled. Hush. person who understood is Cheryl Fields. And she's dead. I know everybody's trying to help. But you just can't know what it's like unless you've been there. Doctor, I don't know what to do. I want to do what's right. Parents are here day and night. It's taking a toll on them. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. It's just not Wait a minute, fair. Teresa. Let's don't get mixed up in this. Look, Teresa, I, I want you to listen to me with this. You don't worry about us. Don't worry. Your hair turned gray in two weeks, and you're telling me not to worry. But we're not complaining, Teresa. We're your family, baby. We want to be here for you. Teresa, get better. That's all. I'll be fine. Just get better. Anything between you and Fred. Look, you love each other. You work things out. Dr. Bradfield, OR, please. Dr. Bradfield, OR, please. I uh, brought you a present. Uh, shall I unwrap it or, or you? Whatever. Do you like him? Oh, oh he's a doll. I have to sneak him in. So don't let the nurses see it. Is it a boy? I think he's a, a boy, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> You really like him? Oh, God, I love him. I'm glad. I, I didn't know what to do. I, I wanted to do something. 
I figured you like your stuffed animals, so maybe a real one would be even better. It's a great morale booster, I asked him. Go on, ask him. Oh, I needed one. I had another morale booster today. Yeah, what? Jeff Ben is coming on Saturday. It's great. <laughs> Maria's going and buying him a present. Like a thank you. Press wanted to make a big deal out of it, you know. I said no. Good. How do you thank somebody like that? Whenever I think of it, how much we owe him. He did what I should have done. Don't be silly, Fred. He did it. That's all we should think about. something for you. <clears throat> to my hero, Jeff Finn. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. With much love and gratitude forever, Teresa Saldana. I don't know what to put on it. I'll keep it for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. Say thank you. But that doesn't tell you how I feel. will always be different because of what happened. Attention all surgical residents. Grand rounds will begin at 12 noon in the first floor. There's conference. nothing to be afraid of. <sighs> Your hand? Engineering, please call extension. Microsurgery was a killer. This hurts so much. I'll get you some painkillers. Find a place yet? 
they're all too expensive. There has to be some place where I can be safe. Where I can keep up with my therapy. Oh, what do you think I've been looking for? I, I haven't found any organizations that help victims either. So I'm tired. I'm all right. I keep telling you, you don't have to come every day. Between my parents, my friends, I could manage. There's no need for you to wear yourself out. I come because I want to. You're doing too much, Fred. Let's just forget about it, okay? What's the matter? You can't feel what's bothering me any more than I can feel your pain. But it's there. And it's taken something away from both of us. You said it to Jeff. We'll never be the same as we were. Right now, I'm no good at the center. And I'm beginning to wonder if I'm no good with you. Your family does more for you than I can. I need you. Do you? You're going to be there tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. There's gonna be a lot of strangers there. Real strangers. They'll be at the pre-trial hearing. The press is gonna be there. Everybody. I know. They're gonna protect you, but they'll still be there. Jackson. I know. There she is, fellas. I heard a voice behind me ask, are you Teresa Saldana? And I turned. I tried to run, but he grabbed my arm. And I saw the knife. And he brought it down. And he stabbed me. And he stabbed me. And he kept on stabbing me. And I tried to fight him off. Can you identify this man? Is he in this room? Would you point him out, please? He's the man in the beige shirt. Point him out, please. Point him out, please. Thank you. Your Honor, the state requests photographs of the injuries for use as evidence. Does the court so order? Get a close one of each chest wound. Please. I get the one in the wrong now. And the other one. Now, uh, full shot of all of them. I've had enough. Don't you want to even try a little, honey? I'm not hungry. I know. I know. You should eat. Hiya, Freddy. Hi. Oh, I thought they almost caught me with him. It's a good thing you're going to be out of here soon. Found a place? Yeah. Motion Picture Hospital said they'd bend the rules, make an exception. You're in the business, they can qualify you. So we don't have to worry about expenses for a while. Yay. That's great. Yeah. Did you tell them I don't want to go as Teresa Saldana? Yeah, yeah. They said they'd work something out. Nobody will know you're there except your friends. So how are we doing? All right. She is a rotten liar, Fred. I'll be back. 
wrong? Photographers just got me down. They were doing their jobs. But it was hard to take. How about you? Same. So when are they going to discharge you? A week or so. Maybe less. Good. How far out is motion picture? Uh, about an hour or so, something like that. That's two hours every time you visit. Yeah, it really cuts into my social life. Freddie, I keep telling you you don't have to come every day. And I keep telling you that I want to. Don't you understand that? Teresa, I hate being alone in that apartment. I'm beginning to wonder if you're ever coming back. Not to that apartment, no. I meant to me. I've been wondering, too. I was hoping you would. It's not your fault. I just think something like this would rip anybody apart. We don't even talk to each other anymore. But what are we doing now? You tell me. You tell me how you really feel about me and how you feel about all this. I don't know how I feel. Yeah, I know you don't know. I used to. Whenever you walked into a room, I knew exactly how you felt. But I don't anymore. I even forgot what it was like. So what do we do? I don't know. Look, the great thing is that all these old movie stars on the walls. You know, I really think this place is pretty. What's the matter, Teresa? You don't like it? Everybody's so old. What'd you expect? It's a retirement home. Is something bothering you, Teresa? You didn't say a word all the way out here. I'm fine. I'm just a little worried. About what? Well, once I get settled in here, I'll be leaving soon. Listen, I can stay longer if you want me to. I have to learn to do things on my own. Welcome to the Motion Picture Hospital. I'm Jane Blado. Hello. Hi. I've brought you copies of today's menus and tomorrow's menus and a list of the regulations. Oh, my. That little fellow is a violation of one of them, by the way. You mean he can't visit me? On the grounds outside, but not in the rooms. Now, we've made sure that you're listed in the files as Alicia Michaels. Oh, good. So, as long as you're here, you'll be known by that name. Nobody knows who I am? The staff people, of course. But the others believe you're the daughter of a director. Thank you. Who do I see to get a cot for my mother? In here? I'm afraid that's impossible. My mother or sister stay with me every night. The regulations here don't permit that. If you need someone, just press the call button. That's all right, Teresa. I'll stay here all day. No. Who do I see to arrange this? I'm afraid no exception can be made to that rule. I can't be alone. I need my mother. We understand. No, you don't understand. Somebody tried to kill me. Calm down. I can't be alone. I'll see what I can do. You're working late. What else is new? What goes on in your mind when they're talking? Look, sometimes I, I think about what I'm going to have for dinner. 
I keep wanting to say, you're the one who's ruining your life. Nobody else, nobody else took the knife and cut it. I think I need out. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You can stay in my room till nine at night. Then you have to come to the cottage. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll be all right. As long as I know you're near me. There are plenty of other rules here, too. Yeah? What are they? I can only use the phone at certain times. <laughs> Anytime I want to leave the ward, even to go to therapy or to the trial, I have to get a pass. Yeah, it's like a boarding school. In prison. I'm lucky they took me here, though. At least I'm safe. That's the most important thing. Are Daddy and Maria going home? Friday. What is it? Fred? It's not his fault. Ever since this happened, he's been having so much trouble at the center, he has to quit because of it. It's me. I'm always so busy with me all the time. The therapy. The trial coming up. Surgeries. I can't even relate to what he's going through. He can't relate to me anymore. I'm just so far apart. You know, Teresa, I had hoped that you two could work it out. What I'm gonna do when you go home? doing? I'm putting them away. Can I have them with me? Well, you can't sleep with your bed so crowded. I can't sleep anyway. They make me feel better. Oh, now, don't be childish, Teresa. One or two is fine, but this many is ridiculous. I don't care what it is. They're mine, and I want them. They'll be right here in your closet. I want them in the bed. I want them with me. I Teresa, want them with quiet, me. Quiet! Quiet! It's not necessary to disturb the entire wing. Mom, get away, all right? I waited until the plane took off. They're all gone now. Want to sit? was here yesterday. He's gonna quit Sparklets and join the Sheriff's Academy. It figures. Oh, he's that kind of guy. The Actors Fund is gonna send some girls over in the evening. Keep me company. You don't have to come so often. Teresa. What are you gonna do when you leave here? I was thinking maybe I would visit my family for a while, but all right? Sure. I have to talk to Selma about getting some work. 
She's been calling producers about me. They all say the same thing. They want to know if I'll flip out on the set. About you. Me? Quitting the center. After that? I don't know what. Maybe I'll visit my father. I'm gonna come back here. I want to find a place of my own. I expected you would. No objections. Oh, Teresa, what's the point? Somewhere we stopped being married. You needed your family more than you did me. And I don't know what I needed. More than I could give you. Maybe it wasn't meant to last. Jackson just finished it. We could still see each other. Sure. Sorry. Hi, Mom. How you doing? Yeah, I know it's late. I'm just homesick. I didn't wake you up, did I? You know me. I never sleep. It's after nine, Ducky. I'll be off in a minute. So how are you? Is Daddy taking care of himself? What did the doctor say? In fact, it's almost 9.30. Hang on. I'm, I'm talking to my mother. Do you mind? I certainly do. You know the rules, and you're disturbing the other patients. No, you're the one who disturbs everybody. You act like a drill sergeant. Hang out, There's Teresa. Hang on a minute. What did the doctor say? You had no right doing that. I have the right, and I have the authority. You are supposed to be in your room, and you are supposed to be in your bed. You and your rules. The rules are more important than the people around here. I'm not finished. You are finished. I'm talking to my mind. Teresa, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. No, I asked for it. I hurt you. I'll get over it. I've been through a rough time, but that's no excuse. I understand what you're going through, believe me. I've been through it myself. There's just no reason to act like a brat. What? I was beat up by a man. I knew. I spent five months in the hospital. I thought you were just a uniform. A set of rules. Well, that's what I want people to see. When did it happen? Oh, years ago. But I haven't forgotten it. Didn't it make you angry? Yes. Sometimes I get so angry. I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself. make you afraid to be alone? I was so scared, I was ashamed of myself. Was there anyone you could talk to? Someone who'd been through it? No, nobody. I toughed it out, but it still hurts. I still remember it. And I'm still very careful. And I hit you. I'm really sorry, I wish you told me. Well, we weren't exactly buddies. Sometimes I feel like nobody understands. Nobody does. Are you afraid to leave the hospital? Go outside? I was scared stiff. I'm really glad you're here. All right. 
think it's a good program. I mean, for an honors program. Are you enjoying it? It's good to get out. Yeah, I bet it is. It's good for you to be back in school, too. Hey, they've got coffee and uh, cookies. You want some? Sure. I, are you all right out here? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go get them. I'll be right back. Yeah. You want a cookie? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Do you like some coffee? You're Teresa Saldana, aren't you? I'm Miriam Schneider. I thought I recognized you. I've seen your movies. <laughs> I'm glad to see your recovery. Thank you. <laughs> Meet a fellow victim. Yeah, sure. I went through it, too. I'm a teacher. One of the boys caught me in my classroom after school and tried to rape me. When I fought him off, he shot me. You don't look as if... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you look like anybody else. You know, on the outside, I got the scars to prove it. Did you go back to teaching? It took me a while to work up my nerve, but it's what I do best. You're gonna go back to acting, aren't you? I want to. I haven't tried yet. You try. Don't you let them stop you. How did you do it? Did anybody tell you what to expect? Did you talk to somebody who'd been through it? No, I did it on my own. You know, trial and error. It was rough. I think I'll go back inside. Uh, I'd like to talk to you some more. Maybe you could visit me at the Motion Picture Hospital. You know where it is? Yeah. There's somebody there I'd like you to meet. See you. <laughs> A lot of people think victims ask for it. But it could happen to anybody. Nobody's immune, Ducky. <laughs> this has been like group therapy. It sure has. You know, it, it just helps so much to talk to people who've been through it. It's so hard for others to understand. It's so horrible to be attacked by another human being. Nobody can. Wouldn't it have been better for us if we'd known each other before this? We've really been lucky. Mm. Why don't we try and get that across to other people? Other victims? Yeah, there have to be thousands who feel just the way we do, who'll be helped if they talk to another victim. But how would you get in touch with them? To the papers. They'd probably put it on the back pages. Mm. TV. <laughs> you could call a press conference. You could. Yeah. But I need a hook. The trial. When's the trial supposed to be? I keep getting subpoenas, and then his lawyer gets another postponement. It's a great idea, though. It is. Press conference after the trial. You should talk to the DA about it. He's really a nice guy. What kind of help are you thinking of? Your office has files on all the victims in Los Angeles. They can't be made public. Well, we wouldn't make them public. We just want people to know what we're doing. Well, the information in those files is confidential. The law doesn't permit any such use. But can you cooperate with us? Maybe give us an endorsement or assign somebody to work with us? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to explore that. You know Sally Vincent, right? From the DA's office? Maybe, maybe she can help you on this. Good. We've been thinking about the trial, too. What we'd like to do is make some kind of announcement so people know about us. We thought we could do a press conference right after the trial in the same courtroom. You know, this is um, a decision that, that the judge is going to have to make. Could you explore that? Yeah, I could explore that. Thank you. Something hit me in there, though. Just because we think this is a good way to help ourselves, it doesn't mean everybody else does. I mean, what if we get the DA support, the press conference and everything? Nobody wants that kind of help. The thing is, I think this is the real reason why I survived.
Ladies and gentlemen, have you reached a verdict in the case? Yes, Your Honor. Would the foreman please hand the verdicts to the bailiff? Would you please read the verdict? We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Arthur Richard Jackson, guilty of attempted murder in violation of section 644187 of the penal code. We further find that the defendant, in the commission of the above offense, did personally use a deadly weapon within the meaning and intent of using said deadly weapon as a bludgeon and a penetrating blade. I'd like to thank all of you for coming here today. We plan to work hand in hand with the DA Victim Witness Assistance Program to provide support, advice, companionship, and help. We'd like anyone who's interested to contact us through the DA's office and join us at our first meeting. Thank you. It's so good. Look at all these people. Phone call paid off. You must be real proud. No, no, really, you did well. You did real well. Do you think we should get started? Excuse me. Thank you for coming. You know, it's way past eight, and I. It's your husband. Thanks for coming. Why not? I'm a victim, too. Good luck. We should get started. Yeah. yeah. Hi. I'm Teresa Saldana. And I can't tell you how much it means to me to see you here tonight. I had a speech prepared, but I don't think I need to read it. Everyone in this room tonight is here for the same reason. Because it's so hard to get through something like this. And because for so long, nobody, not even our families or our closest friends, could understand how horrible we felt. At times, we were afraid of people. We even hated people. And we felt like the worst thing in the world had happened to us. And I think everyone in this room will agree that it was completely natural to feel that way. So we're together now. We understand each other. We can really talk to each other. And we can help each other. And we can help not just those of us who are in this room tonight, but everybody out there who is or may become a victim. We are victims for victims.